sign in into AWS certification account. If this is not your first exam, then go to certification benefits, copy the code, click exam registration, schedule an exam, find the exam that you want to appear, click schedule, choose the options like in person or online. Make sure you have the right computer with internet and webcam, proper testing place, valid government ID, and other things that is expected to you. Select the preferred language for the exam. Click next. If you are appearing AWS certification exam for the first time, then I will highly recommend to go through all these policies at least once before you check the box. Glance through this list of acceptable ID cards. Carefully read this on exam day section to understand what is expected from you during exam or on the day of the exam. Quickly go through reschedule policy, cancellation policy and online proctored exam policies. If you are comfortable, then click agree. Select the language that you prefer the proctor to speak. Click next. This is really important to choose the correct time zone. Once you select your time zone, click yes, that's right. Select the target date for your exam. Select the time format. Click explore more times to find all the time slots available that day. Choose the time slots that is convenient to you. Click book this appointment. Confirm the exam, date, time, time zone, everything before clicking proceed to checkout. If you have certification benefit or any promotional code, paste it here and click apply. And you will see that promo code is applied. Choose payment type. Fill the billing information. Click next. Once again, confirm everything and click agree and proceed. Provide credit card details and click pay. And you will see your appointment is confirmed. And order confirmation email will be sent to your email box. This is highly recommended to run a system test on the computer that you are going to use on the exam day to avoid any unforeseen issues. If you are curious, please check my next video to understand how to run a system test and how to avoid issues that may appear during the done test. Thanks for watching. All the best.